how do we solve this cubic equation? Minus 6s squared could be written as minus s squared minus 5s squared. Now, let's consider level x. We can rewrite it as 5x plus 6x. So, we just have minus 6 equals 0. Let's pull out the common terms. Here, consider these two guys. S square is common, so we're going to have x square into x minus 1. Likewise here, minus 5x is the common terms, so we're going to have minus 5x into x minus 1 plus 6 is the common terms here, so we're going to have 6 into x minus 1 equals to 0. This implies that we have x minus 1 here, likewise here, and here, split out. We're going to have x minus 1 times s squared minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. So, this implies that x minus 1 is equals to 0, or s squared minus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0. First solution is that x is equals to 1, or this quadratic equation can be factorized. So, we're going to have x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 equals 0. S is common. So, we're going to have x into x minus 3 minus 2 is the common term here. We have minus 2 into x minus 3 equals 0. x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equals to 0. So, x minus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 is equals to 0. So, we have x equals to 3 or x is equals to 2. So, these are the other solutions. So, therefore, our values of x are x is equals to 1 or x is equals to 2 or x is equals to 3. Let us check when s equals to 1 if it satisfies our original questions. So, when x is equals to 1, so we are going to plug it into this cubic equation. So, we're going to have when s equals to 1, we're going to have 1 to the power of 3 minus 6 into 1 square plus 11 into 1 minus 6 equals 0. 1 to the power of 3 that's 1 minus 6 times 1 squared that is 6 plus 11 times 1 that is 11 minus 6 equals 0. So when you add each terms together you get 0 which is equals to 0. So x is equals to 1 is one of our solution. Now let's check when x is equals to 2. So when x is equals to 2 we are going to plug it into our cubic equation. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 3 minus 6 into 2 all square minus 11 into 2 minus 6 is equal to 0. 2 to the power of 3 that is just 8 minus 6 times 2 square that is 24 plus 11 times 2 that is 22 minus 6 equals 0. When you had each terms very well, we will get 0 to be equal 0. So, x is equals to 2 is our second solution indeed. So, now let's check when x is equals to 3. When x is equals to 3. So, we are going to plug into our cubic equation. So, we're going to have 3 cube minus 6 into 3 all square plus 11 into 3 minus 6 equals 0. 3 raised to the that is just 27 minus 6 times 3 square that is 54 plus 11 times 3 that is 33 minus 6 equals 0. If we have these left hand side terms together you will get 0 equals 0. So that, that indicates that our third solution is indeed s is equals to 3. So that's it. See you in the next video.